Welcome everyone, my name is Chris Ward and I'm one of the edutainers here at IT Pro TV, an ITIL expert and managing professional, and it's my privilege to introduce you today to the world of ITIL. Now perhaps you've seen or heard about ITIL or someone has recommended that you look into this very amazing framework that rules in the world of IT service management. So. Glad you're along for the ride, and let's start off with the basics. Essentially, ITIL is a set of best practices and guidance in IT service management. It helps define the direction of the service provider with a clear capability model. It aligns them to business strategy and to customer needs. Plus, it helps us speak a common language of IT service management with a universal glossary of terms. ITIL has led the IT service management industry with guidance, training, and certification programs for over 30 years. But as one friend of mine once asked, what in the world is an ITIL? Well, ITIL is an acronym. It stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Library. Yep, you heard that right, library. In today's cloud-based digital world, that can be a bit of an archaic reference, but back in the 1980s, the British government noticed something about IT. Millions of pounds were being spent on technology and they weren't really sure that their citizens, government offices and officials were receiving any value from these purchases and uses. And what they understood even back then was that it's not about the technology, it's how you use the technology that provides the outcomes that the customers or consumers are looking for. So they produced books, thus the library, that explain how to create processes, things like how to handle an incident, how to perform change management, how do you maintain a service catalog that lists all the services you offer. And at one point, there were about 30 booklets or so that dealt with many of the processes and practices an IT organization would use to align the IT department with the business. Now around 2000, so fast forward a little bit from the 80s, the over 30 booklets were consolidated down to eight books, but there were two books, service support, and service delivery that were the primary focus. Then in 2007, version three was published that took the eight books into five equally weighted books based on things like service strategy, service design, transition, operations, all these things. In 2011, a major update was published. This update stuck with the same fundamental concepts that were released under version three, but 2011 cleared up a lot of inconsistencies and ambiguities that came out in 2007. And they also dropped the whole versioning thing. It's no longer version two, version three. It was just ITIL 2011. In 2018, ITIL 4 was announced. And in early 2019, ITIL 4 Foundation was released, bringing us up to where we are today. Now notice I called it a framework. ITIL embraces a practical approach to service management. It says, do what works. And what works is adapting a common framework of practices that unite all areas of IT service provision towards a single aim, that of delivering value to the business. There are a few things that do make it successful. Number one, ITIL has a focus on customer experience. They also make sure that we build value streams and move our organizations towards a digital transformation and even embracing new ways and methodologies, things like lean, agile, DevOps. Plus, ITIL is vendor neutral. It doesn't matter if you have Cisco or Juniper, Microsoft or Ubuntu, AWS or Google Cloud, ITIL works in all infrastructure environments. It's also non-prescriptive. Uh, it uses globally accepted best practices. If you don't wanna follow ITIL's suggested process or practice as they present it, hey, that's fine. Do what works. However, you are encouraged to embrace how ITIL recommends building out your IT environment as these are best practices from all parts of the world, all kinds of different industries, and that can help your organization be the best at what you do. ITIL represents the learning experiences and thought leadership of, I would say, the world's best in-class service providers. So check out our many ITIL courses here at IT Pro TV that will give you a greater understanding of how to apply this IT service management framework and prepare you for certification exams. I hope to see you there.